So in today's video, I will cover the three um, Graham models um, by Benjamin Graham uh, in Google Sheets and Excel, how to do it, how to weight it, if you want to combine all these. And Okay, so the first step, well, I guess the first model is um, 1.5 times BVPS, which is book value per share, plus 15 times EPS. So this is founded on the basis that you, never sh you should never pay more than uh, one and a half times book value per share. Um, you can find this on Yahoo Finance. Um, so I, I'd use Yahoo Finance. You can also use um, Macro Trends. Um, okay, so 1.5 times the book value per share. So 1.5 times the underlying assets um, minus liabilities. I'd use tangible book plus 15 times the earnings per share. This is founded on the basis that you should never pay more than 15 times uh, how much money a company is earning today. Um, so this is the simplest model, very simple. So if you get four dollars in book value and a dollar in EPS, then six plus fifteen, twenty-one. So that's very simple. The second model um, is a little bit more complicated. This is probably the I'd say overall the best one, the more the most encompassing of everything. Of you know, it, it goes into uh, what uh, corporate bonds are yielding, and you know, so I'd use I'd use this one most of the time. Um, so that one is EPS times one plus one times the firm's growth rate times the corporate bond yield divided by the AAA bond yield. I'll show you how to do that in Google Sheets and Excel. So all of these. So um, the third one, which is kind of just like this one, but just a little bit better maybe, I'd say. I'd say this one might be a little bit better than this one. Uh, they all have their use cases. So um, so this one is just value equals EPS, earnings per share, times 8.5 times 2 times the firm's growth rate. That's very simple. I'll show you how to do all of that today. Okay, so for all of the models, we will need EPS. So we're going to pull that right now for all of them. EPS. Um, and we'll just use the same uh, company for each one. Um, actually, we'll put the ticker at the top and put this at the bottom here. which will all be Apple. Okay, EPS equals Google Finance, the cell, and just like that. Okay, and then you can copy that a across the board for each one. Um, it'll be the same thing because it's the exact same place, the uh, ticker symbol. Okay, and then we will need book value per share for this model. Uh, for model two, we'll need the growth rate. The growth rate and for model three we'll need a couple other things we'll need the triple a bond yield yield we'll need the um corporate bond yield so corp bond yield uh let's see what else will we need will we need anything else um let's see it will alter the firm's growth rate for this model. Firm, or we'll just use growth rate. Growth rates. Growth rates. Here as well. Um, okay. And we can put all of this in the middle. Just so it's nice and neat. Um, let's see. It already is. Okay. Book value per share for Apple. That is 358, I believe. Okay. So this model is almost already done. Value also... We'll put this all on accounting really quickly. This will be a percentage. Okay, just go to sell, number format percent. And then this will also be percentage, growth rate will all be certain percentages. Uh, these will be percentages, but they're not going to be calculated as percentages. So we'll put the little percent bar on the side, accounting. And we'll need accounting for this. Okay. Just so it's nice and neat. Okay. So the value for this is very simple. Equals 1.5 times the book value per share. And then plus 15 plus uh, the uh, times the EPS. There we go. There we go. So that's 93.72 growth rate. Uh, for this, Apple's expected to go at 8% annually. So that's all you need for that. Value equals 8.5. 8.5... 
times 2 times uh, the growth rate. Um, times 1, 2 times the growth rate. So we wouldn't actually, we'd put the percent off to the side, actually. We would, it wouldn't actually calculate as a percentage uh, just like this. There we go. Okay. All right, so that gives us a value for that model. Very simple. Uh, let's see. So this model, a little bit more difficult. Uh, the corporate bond yield right now on the AAA bond yield is about 4.4, I believe, corporate bond. I think it's 8.5. It might be 8.7, something like that, 8.5, I guess. Okay, so the growth rate is going to equal the EPS, and then you're going to go just like this, 1 times 1 plus the growth rate. Oh, wait. I'm doing the value equation. Okay, growth rate of Apple 8%. 8%, just like this, percent, and then the value. Okay, now, uh, okay, EPS times 1 plus uh, the 1 times the growth rate of the firm. And then that will all be multiplied by the uh, corporate bond yield. So it just be just like this, just like this, times the corporate bond yield. And then that would go just like that. And then you just divide that all by the AAA bond yield. Growth rate would be a percentage just like that. So the corporate bond yield is something like 8.7. This is maybe, I think it's 4.4. Uh, so that would be it. That's that's the formula for that model. Um, okay, so accounting, and then if you if you want to weight all these, um, it'd be very simple. You just do model one, model two, model two, and model three, and then the weightings would would the weight would just be equals one divided by three, a third for each of them. And these will all be converted to. Ex to uh, percentages uh, right here. All you would do is you take model one, you take 33% and you multiply that by the value you got. Uh, and you do the same thing, just like that. You go 33 times the value you got. And you can mess around with the, the weightings. Um, it doesn't really matter how you weighted it. You don't need to weight it. You can weight it with this kind of cash flow model as well. You can pair this with whatever other models you wanted to build your own sheet out. Okay. And then that would give you the total value, weighted value, which would just equal the sum, the sum, just like that. And that is your value. 111.51 weighted with the three different models for Apple. And if you want to have the current price, you can just do current price current price, and that's just very simple, equals Google Finance, uh, grab any cell if they're all the same company, uh, just like that. And you can see right now Apple's trading at, trading at 154 50 so it does look overpriced based off uh, the three models.